Randy, I got I got toys I got a lot tonight. Of weed left, boys. Oh, hey, you can do a Stony Whoa. Curiosity this weekend or tomorrow. Oh, we can do it after the show. I mean, I can't, but you guys can. I'm using it tonight. Oh, Cody, what are you doing after the show, bud? Let's see where the energy levels are at. I like yeah, yeah we need idea. to see where the because I do have to get up at five thirty. Do you uh you want some lo-fi lo-fi beats? Lo-fi beats. I lost my beats. I lost my AirPods too. Man, I'm, those headphones. are expensive. I know, I know. You know, like I wanted the AirPod Pros, and the brother-in-law hooked me up for Christmas and got me just AirPods, uh, which is a hell of a gift for him from him. And, but like, they hurt my ears a little bit. So, like, I'm trying to get used to it, you know. So I just I kept them in for a while, and then I took them out, and now I don't know where I put them. <clears throat> the trick is, you get, like, they're, like, eight bucks on Amazon. Like, you can get these memory foam inserts for, like, your ear pods. Yeah, but then I, I got to take those Galaxy fucking things pods. off every time I want to charge them. No, you don't. You, have to, you, you, just, you just have to, like, Google, like, plus compatible for AirPods and just find the right ones. Mm. I, that's what I did with my Galaxy. All night, Buds baby. Plus. All night. It's be the shit all night. I'm sorry. Yeah, I keep I, I, I keep them in all toy. night. I I do. I keep them in all night. I listen to like rain sounds. And when I'm like 52, I'm gonna die from like a goddamn like head like tumor because like I'm having like I was gonna say house fire. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. A house fire <laughs> maybe. Or head tumor because like I'm exposing myself probably like you know twice as much as like. You know the the average consumer does. It's like, wait, my boss's like- wife won't let them have Wi Fi in the house, so he had to run fucking Cat Five cables everywhere and get adapters for their phones, so that they can go from an iPhone oh. to Cat Five. That's just just go full Amish. Well, well, when you're yeah. doing that shit, just go full Amish. Trade in the Toyota for a goddamn donkey. It's great. Oh, you can, liquor. You can move well, things shit, I found on a it. capsule with weed in it. Oh, liquor. Yeah, hold on. Liquor. Oh, we're doing liquor? I got this. I, I got a couple. Nowhere. I'm doing this in nippers these days, right? And I found this rum chata limon. So in honor of my dead friend Fit, I got this rum chata limon. Uh, I've never had it before. You ever so fuck with rum chata and fireball together? Yeah. Rum chata and caramel like vodka. Toast crunch? Yeah, dude. Fucking. I don't know if I should drink this rum chata. I'm really nervous about it, though, because it's like fucking dairy and stuff. All right. Uh, whatever. Oh yeah, dude! Damn I have it. so much weed left over that I didn't smoke before in capsules. Good. I have three. Damn it! I can't believe you fucking stone armed me, and in, into not doing a stony curiosity that one. I know time. you're a bitch, Randy. You could have done this shit last week, and we could have been done with it. Now we're gonna be late. How are we gonna be late? It's fucking. The I, I I I have I have I have shit in my inbox, Randy. That's like, where is stony curiosity? That is yeah. not a lie. You have a document oh, full of right. questions from Amara. I don't. Should I have that? Amara's mad at me that I don't have that. Too. Yeah, Amara. No, she's she's mad here. at me that I haven't seen that. I know she's not here. That's why I'm talking about her. <laughs> but like, hey, Rim, you know what? I could get a good deal on f- boxes. They're free, bro. Oh, really? Yeah, you can go online. You can order as many as you want. You have to pay want. for them. No, it's f- the postage you, just, you have to pay for. You pay for the postage, not the box. The box is free. Oh, so you can make a okay. fucking Ford out of that shit, oh. Randy, and the well, government like, can't stop you. Should I put my fucking AVB gross. in? Why are you... Uh, what? What? What would you say, Randy? How many... So I've got... It's already vape bud. They can be turned into edibles. Oh, God. Yeah. And, uh... I need to m- someone. I can't believe I just witnessed that happen. You're such... You're a champion, Randy. You, you really know is. that? Uh, all right, you guys... You guys oh. Man. Randy, why are you calling no, me? That's amazing. Hello? Oh, God. <laughs> Mute hey, yourself hey, on the stream. Hey, Hello? Oh, okay. <laughs> I hung up. <laughs> you said call you. So. No, I, not yeah, to, but not away today. from the. Uh, I was just flexing on the audience God, to show them that I could. Yeah. All right. You ready? You guys ready to start? Oh, this is a good right, practice. I, I, need you, I need your visual fingering. To oh, you got it. All right, bud. Randy, get that, ready. So okay. I, I can. Let's let's do a show. It's uh, a new era. I'm you. It's season five. What are you meeting? New era. Oh my. 
my goodness. Hello. I am your Cody for this evening. You are listening to episode 201 of the Rick Dickman Show. You yeah. fucking forgot to fuck Rick No, no, see, if I do it, no, 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 see, if I do it three times, it's not a mistake because I'm abiding by the rule of three. Okay. You know what I mean? So that's how I get protection. If I'm aware of it and I perpetrate it thrice, I'm in this weird safety you zone. You had a whole week. You had a whole week. I, no, no, no. <laughs> See, that's the trick to not apologizing. You just you just twist the dagger twice more, and then you ba- you know you plie, plie, and then exit stage left. So that's how. Okay. Yeah, and All see right. that that was that was a great open. You know what I mean? I tickled unexpected I tickled you. I tickled you a, yeah. a risable way. Hi, hi, hey. You know the show. I have I have people with me. Rem wanted not him to do the hosting. I got the illustrious Rem. Say hi real quick. Hi real quick. How's everybody tonight? There we go. Yeah. And then we got the other guy, Randall. Hello, Randall. You know what, everybody? If you fucking think it's okay to drive 30 to 40 miles an hour under the goddamn speed limit on a fucking two-lane highway Preach. in the middle of the night, Preach. go fuck yourself Thank you, with Randy. a fucking rusty piece mm. of rye bar and i hope and i pray that you suffer a slow and painful death and if you Turn have farm equipment down just a little bit if you have farm equipment that shit doesn't belong on public roads if you need to move it get a low boy like everyone else all right if i need to move a dozer i can't just take off down the public road all right farmers are like cops they need maximum accountability and maximum respect all body right cams. i respect farmers but yes and body can exactly <laughs> cody cameras. but <laughs> yeah but my mom's been doing. you fucking if you take your equipment onto the roads because you think you're better than everybody, you lose all respect. But it's like a pickup truck. Accountable to that shit. Pickup truck. Yeah, slow me though. down. I, I got. I lost my shit and I passed. I went over two double yellow lines and I fucking went head on at some you know at Ford Ranger and I said mm. fuck it. I just floored it and in then the my Fiat. Fiat cruised around. The turbo Fiat. kicked oh, wow. in. The turbo kicked in on my yeah. 1.4 liter engine, and I zoomed around that piece of equipment, and I was blaring Colt uh, 45 and two zigzags by Afro Man, and I turned and I looked that farmer in the eyes, and I flipped him off because I was in the car for six and a half hours today, and I ain't got time for that shit. Okay. You know, Sorry. Randy, you bring up something very, very, uh, you know, I don't like talking about this stuff in the show because I feel like people think I'm complaining about stuff, but thank you for, for giving me the opportunity here. Uh, How do we avoid that? You know what I mean? It's just like, I, I love like running my fucking mouth, but it's just, I'm not complaining. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, like, yeah. I wish there's like a, like a, like a special like fucking punctuation to be like, I'm just sweaty, not angry at anything right now. Well, you know, Cody, you know, that's another good point you bring up. Now there's two things I have to get to. It's like, I will, I will text Randy and uh, Steven and, and you, and I'll just like, com- I'll just just ramble off a bunch of shit just because I want to be heard. And it's not like I'm complaining because yeah, I understand, I understand I have a really good space in life and other people have it much worse than I do. Like I get that, but I just want somebody to acknowledge my pain. Uh, part of my pain being uh, people who can't drive at the speed limit. Like I don't care if the speed limit's 40 and you're driving 40. All right, that's fine. You're following the rules and and I'm, I'm kind right. of, I used to be a, a good rule follower, not so much anymore, no, but man. I respect the speed it. limit is 10 in my neighborhood, dude. So when there's people driving five or 35, like if you're below the speed limit, I just want you to fucking die. I want you to die because yeah, you, you just, yeah, you're just, yeah, you're impeding yeah. my life, right? You're, you're affecting me now. Like, don't leave me alone. That's my philosophy for everything. Just leave me the fuck alone, man. Don't, don't drive slow. All right. Just drive fast. Everybody take chances. Drive fast. Take chances. Don't wear your seatbelts. I mean, uh, yeah. Slow it down for school zones. That's about it. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's it. Like, yeah. Leave my kids alone too. Fuck and, you. And the ambulance and school zones. Yeah. There you go. That's mm. all. You yeah, no. put flashing lights around that shit. Like, you know. All right. Uh, well, in funeral processions, I, I, I pull over for those and take my hat off. Ha, well, have, has, ha, have you guys noticed it getting That's worse cool, in the last two years with, with all the assholes on the road? Or is it just like, is it just me being in a blue state? I'm not on the road. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> uh, no, I think I, it's gotten worse since I moved to the middle of Ohio, I think. Like mm-hmm. middle kind of west. Yeah, uh, it's Midwest. If you so will. people, people are just angry. Um, Nobody has any patience for anything anymore. Like everybody, everybody's mad at each other. 
Right? Like, if you don't say yeah, something I, I like, I hate you. I was like, everything's fucked right it, now. It sucks. It, it, it's almost like we're, we're just spoiled great on that. instant gratification. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. We, we're, we're so used to, like, swiping right to see a pretty face or, like, you know, holding for checkout and, like, two clicks. So so when something does take, like, you know, you know, three to four hours, like, getting home, Randall, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a pain in the ass where it's Poor screaming guy. over and blowing out you know yeah. and peaking fucking waveforms it's like i can't find oh, no, chocolate my tea shit tight. anywhere near my house right i have to order through amazon and i get it within like two or three days and my wife put it on auto delivery i'm gonna run out in two days i'm not gonna get it till tuesday and i'm like i was like i was pissed oh, like shit. what the fuck why can't i get it before You're a fiend. yeah but i'm like wait a second let me just take a step back it's you know what? it's pretty good still it's pretty good randy why were you driving for uh, i don't mean to ask the questions here cody but i just gotta know randy why were you driving so much today bro? no no yeah yeah well, so I drove uh, two hours, 15 minutes, and picked my daughter up from school. West Virginia? I drove 45 minutes to my grandparents. No, 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 no. Uh, Kentucky. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, and then I drove 45 minutes to my grandparents so that she had an appointment that she needed to attend, and her mother had to work. So I did a half day, drove down there. So I, it was two, hour, two hours, 15 minutes there, 45 minutes to my grandparents, then uh, another hour back to her house, and then two hours back here. So... Nice. You know, uh, nice. over six hours in the car. God damn. So you got a nice, but she made you, her got, you got a nice grundle print working in your uh, <laughs> driver's side seat there, then, right? Dude, I, you know, I grundle I, print. Put I'm them in, in my car. Like, just to give you an idea of how got much it. I drive, I bought my car in 2019 and had 11,000 miles on it. All right. It was a repo mm -hmm. uh, and I got a good deal on it. And I bought it. And now I just celebrated 100,000, 102,000 miles on it. Cody, did so you know? If it was a re Go ahead. So, if it was a repo, there, there was another man's grundle print that you had to overpower with your. You know, fleshy and active live grundle. Well, you're, and there's you're a conqueror on the ceiling. It's disgusting. You're, you're Some a conqueror on the ceiling that I've never gotten rid of. Yeah. I kept it. it. Looks like a milkshake exploded in it. Carmax. I mean, if he kept nothing. it for some reason, you know what I mean. Who are you to clean up right. the mystery stain in the cabinet? Yeah. Of your repo you know the worst truck. part about having a Fiat? Having a Fiat. No. No, no armrest uh, oh. up front. Oh, you're a big man too. You yeah. need that. Oh God. Oh yeah. You just My arm just swing. goes. It just dangles, and then I'll put it up behind the passenger seat until it goes numb, yep. and then it dangles, and then put it back up behind the passenger seat, and then it dangles, and then I'll put it on the steering wheel and just be frustrated for a minute, you know, that I don't have an armrest, and then yeah, I'll go back. I had a car like that yeah. once. I was like, I was miserable every day. Like I was hating life. I was just depressed and sad. And then I got an armrest, and everything changed. My life changed. Cody, did you know that, Randy? You know what works that's in two probably, states. That's probably the trick to the fucking yeah. armrest. It's a secret life. happiness. Fucking getting armrest. Yeah. What is it? Forty-two? No armrest. Yep. Yeah. Let me let me hike mine up right now. Actually. There you go. There you go, bud. Yeah. There you yeah. go. Yeah. I can uh, Randy actually works uh, in a different state. He lives in Ohio, and he works in another state nearby. I'm not going to say which one, Randy. I don't want to dox you. I come from the. Uh, Wait. I, I come from yeah. the tri-state rim. Okay, so I, it's called the tri-state. It's it's Ohio, West Virginia, and Kentucky. So, oh my God, there's I, other tri-states. That's so fucking wacky. I know, right? Like that's weird yeah. to me. Yeah. Like tri-state is. I can New play York, the New lottery in three states. Right? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm technically with... four because I'm close to Indiana too. Yeah, All right. Well, would you go by quad state area or the Tetris state area? Well, no, because the way Ohio works, like West Virginia's on the other side. And Indiana's over here. So Indiana, Ohio, and Kentucky is a tri-state, but so is Ohio, Kentucky, and West Virginia. It's a weird Venn diagram of, you know, states. Yeah, fucking geography with Randy. All right, let's stop talking about this. <laughs> uh, uh, who, who did it in, uh, the, the interesting this week? Anyone? Well, we did an interesting, Cody. We did episode 200 what? last week. Yeah. The most yeah, interesting. That was a... Uh, well, how's how's your uh, how's your feedback been? Because mine's been off the charts. Really? Look at you. You pay attention to things, don't you? Um, I'm, a little bit. From what I've seen, which is mostly nothing, it was good. <laughs> you know, it, the, the Nielsen numbers are hard to read on this one, Ram. Yeah. Excuse, oh, like yeah. they're like 
No, see, list, it, it, it'll be three mill, more uh, weeks before most of the audience gets to 200 because for whatever reason, our audience is like three, four, five weeks behind. <laughs> yeah, I'm even a couple of weeks behind. This that week. means we're binge worthy. You know that? Yeah. That, yep. that means we're binge worthy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, and you know, that, that means we're bankable and they're going to pull the ripcord when they're, you know, having a, having a day. Uh, Randy was supposed to freaking make a goddamn, uh, like, a survey, all right? Because I would love to know the demographics of our audience because, like, we're three dudes and we talk about dude stuff, right? But I have a feeling that there are plenty of ladies, like six of them, who like the show a lot. I mean, we wouldn't even, we wouldn't uh-huh. even know it. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, thanks, guys. Thanks for picking me up there. Jesus Christ. What the fuck are you no, doing, Randy? No, no, you're good. Sorry, I'm... We just want to see what you're doing. Me. Yeah, God. Yeah, it, it was like Eddie. Kingston you were going in a curious out Chris yeah. Statlander in his promo yeah. with Jericho. Okay, Cody, I was entranced. Was, I wanted to see where you were going with it. I'm, I was. You know I made I mean? more I money gambling. Like, I made more money gambling on Sunday. I, I gambled on the Daytona 500 yeah. and on the All Star Game. I made sixty dollars. Daytona 500. Yeah, but sixty bucks. You know what I mean? Like sixty bucks. You know, if someone like hates on you for only having like double digit winnings. You just mm-hmm. be like, you know. Bought me the nicest fucking eggplant parmesan I've ever ate. Fuck yeah, man! Like I, I uh, go ahead, Randy. You know what I mean? Like free egg eggplant <laughs> eggplant parmesan. I'm, you know where I am. Freedom Thirty Two <laughs> yeah. has been a little rough. I gambled this week on Tuesday, Super Tuesday, because uh-huh. it was two twenty two of twenty two, and Tuesday yeah, and at two twenty two p.m. I played twenty two dollars worth of two dollar tickets, and I won twenty two dollars. And I did you really that ever since. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I have, and I Randy have is the chosen one. the 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 face value of the tickets that I've earned is over four hundred dollars. So I've been in the game that long and churned through that many tickets, just winning, not putting any more in, just winning and buying more tickets. Because you play the odds, you look at the statistics, you can stay in the game, and you get a shot at a boomer every time that you get a card. Can I ask you a question? And wow. I don't, Absolutely. this is good. This is all going to come out weird. And I'm so sorry, but I'm a very curious individual. Okay. And like, I don't think the way other people think, I'm just curious as how things work. You gave me a strategy, uh, into playing the lotto, right? It's like, you have to talk with your, with your dealer and freaking look for the, the black and the white squares and also the bullshit, right. in certain games. And you said, you know, talk to your guy, see if he'll give you, uh, you know, if he'll give those specific tickets, um, out in Ohio, you know what? Fuck it. I don't care. I don't care anymore. I don't give a shit. What ethnicity is selling you your lotto tickets? Uh, it's mostly like <laughs> what? middle-aged white broads. Okay, that, I'm getting you know, there, Cody. Like, I'm had kids. Yeah. Had kids really early in life, and just never really amounted to much more than a mom. So they don't mind talking to you and then being like, "Oh, sure, honey, I'll get you that ticket you're looking for." Right? Like they they enjoy that shit. Like you're up there schmoozing and everything, right? Uh, I mean, it depends on how much they hate their life. Like, it, there's a continuum. Okay. Between that. Yeah. Are uh, they busy? Is the is the fucking well, question. Yeah. Like if you're gonna be an asshole and sit there and scratch your tickets at the counter. No, not, not talking about that. Yeah, you. but like you gotta develop yeah. a relationship so they get you that ticket with the weird box that you're looking for. Okay. So out here well, where I, I am I play so many different gas stations that it's hard uh, to okay. build a relationship. Wow. wow. There there is but I'm no, pretty good. I have a pretty good game. There's no middle aged, upper age white lady who's selling tickets out here. All right. And so these dudes, they don't want anything to do with you. They want your money. They want you to get the fuck out. So it's not like I'm going to sit there and say, hey, Raj, uh, can I have that yep. win for life there? And could you please give me the ticket with the goddamn black on white square? Like, he's not going to do that. Oh, for me. no, I, I got that, too, at a couple <laughs> of places. Like, I understand what you're talking. Like, I got one guy where I won 500 bucks at 530, yeah. actually, um, in Kentucky. And he was an <laughs> asshole. And then he did the whole like, you know, like he was there was other people in the store, so he was kind of like, it was five twenty I won, and he and he and he didn't want to say it out loud, so he kept just making the symbols, and I was like, yeah, five hundred and twenty dollars, <laughs> and he was like, <laughs> uh, but he's always an asshole when I go in to play the lottery. Oh, okay, yeah, fuck that guy. Yeah, that guy sucks. All right, well, all right, you know what? I, yeah, I, I gotta buy more liquor. Uh, I'm starting to drink again a little bit more, so maybe I'll develop a relationship. Nice. With one of these guys, yeah. But that was my that was me, Cody. I, I bet uh, I made some bets on the on the uh, Daytona 500, 
Um, and I took like long shot bets, like top, not a winner. I, well, I picked one winner and the fucking guy crashed out. The guy, uh, I, yeah. I almost picked, I almost picked the winner, Cody, like the guy who won the race. I almost picked him because he was being an asshole in the previous race. Um, and I thought that's a good attitude to have, but I didn't, I went with another guy and that guy crashed. And then I picked like three guys to finish in the top 10 and one of them did. And, um, and, and I hit, so I made some money there. Um, what I did, my nice. dad is, a, I used now, to watch a lot of NASCAR. Money or bonus money? Oh, real money. Well, I used bonus money and I made real money. So like, it's all real money now, baby. Um, I used to watch a lot of NASCAR, like up until like 2002. And then my dad took it over and he just started watching. So I called him up. I'm like, Hey dad, does, does this fucking guy, does this, does this guy, Corey LaJoy have a chance to make the top 10? And he started laughing at me. I'm like, I don't know who the fuck this guy is. Why are you laughing at me? And so I, I named the other guys. And then he said, what are you doing? I'm like, oh, I got to make a little bit of money on this thing and make it interesting. So like, don't be stupid. Don't waste your fucking money on a goddamn thing. Well, watch the race. And, and, and you know, did the old and Italian thing. Here's you not listening to your dad. Yeah. And then my mom podcast yeah. doing yeah. impressions of him. Yeah. You lay like it's some kind of bastard son. I don't give a shit. No. I, and my mom's like, oh, gambling's not for you. I'm like, bitch, I just made like, I made $36 and no, $24 and did 2500. I made 36 on the all-star game. Because a bunch of those dudes scored a bunch of points, and it, hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I love. Did I, I love ever tell you about the Sundays. time that I went to a, a online slots website, and like my first deposit, I won three hundred dollars, and then tried to cash it out in Bitcoin, but they they made me do too much. Uh, it was pretty uh, cool. They wouldn't give um, you the Bitcoin. No, no, no. They they would, but I had to like verify transactions and shit oh, while I was on that. the phone with them, and I was like, this this is a lot. Um, but uh. Yeah, no, so I ended up just rolling it all. Uh, I put it all in one bet and lost it, so yeah. don't do that. Sorry, buddy. That's the trick, I guess. Yeah. yeah. You know, that's, yeah, right, you got uh, you could space it out and then and take, like, three times the pain, or you could just blow it all at once, right? I had $9 of bonus money. No, no, no. I used all the bonus money in Daytona, and I made, you know, I made all that back, um, and then I had, um, I had $306 in my account. Or three hundred and nine dollars, right? And I didn't like seeing the odd number, so I took that nine dollars and I put it on the All Star Game bet, which mm. turned into thirty six. Yeah, and nice. now now I have I still yeah. have an odd number. I have three thirty six. I don't like it, but whatever. I still remember the first time I played craps. I convinced my buddy to give me fifty dollars at the casino because he was up like a thousand. Yeah. And uh, I went over to the craps table and said, "Put it all on black." And then I lost. And so then I had to go back and say, cool. hey, man, can I have another $50? That's not how craps work. And works. I went and, or not craps, roulette, whatever okay. the one with the red and black is. My bad. Man. Uh, and then you I, were escorted I, 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 off of the premises. <laughs> yeah, it was, well, eventually. That was a, that was a crazy night because I was high energy, Randy, at the time. Uh, and so I went to a couple of coworkers um, and I asked them to win back the money and they did. No. So I don't know anything Wait. about roulette or craps. How does but that they work? Do. How do you ask people to win back money they for beat, you? They beat people up and steal it. Well, one of them's a descendant of Genghis Khan. See? And the That's other not that. one. See? Uh-oh. Where'd oh. Cody go? Mm. I'm here. Yeah, okay. and, and the other one, uh, just really good at numbers. So I figured combining their powers would be have, success, have you, and it was. Have either of you guys ever played craps? No, it's intense. I've only done it a couple times. Um, and it was like a 20, 20 years ago at this point. We went to uh, the Mohegan Sun and my cousin went to see some wrestling. And then afterwards we played some craps and he was really good. So he taught me how to play. Right. But like, don't be a fucking noob on a Saturday. Uh, what day was it? Like a, on a, on like a busy night because these assholes, they're in it for, they're in it to win. Right. So if you're just sitting there fucking up and just throwing a bet down and throwing dice like a pussy, they get mad. Like they get angry. So I got really intimidated, and I lost my money, and I walked away in shame. Yeah, there's gambling's a, not for me. <laughs> yeah, like I like I love blackjack because like it's actually one of those games you can with with it with it with a fucking head on your shoulders you can make a little bit of leeway on. You know what I mean? Like yeah, yeah. You, you you can make up the chance with skill and actually like have a good night drinking and having a good time but like when i tried playing blackjack and you know was, was like doing my like idiot like kung fu like attempting to count card system the people behind me were just irritated because i was i was taking the cards that the dealer <laughs> would have busted on 
<laughs> so you know what I mean? I'm having like I'm having like the geometry numbers and shapes flash past my head. You know what I mean? For like 40 full seconds. Like, what do I do? Hit. And I get like, you know, a fucking face card bust. And then like the dealer, you know, gets a four to get to like, you know, 20. You next, fucked everybody. You know, turn. And I'm just like, yeah, yeah. And they yeah. let me know. And I, yeah. I, I, I don't have a good time gambling anymore. No, that's yeah. how that. Then that's how that works. I'd rather just spend all my money on expensive distribution. food. What's that, Randy? What's what is that? I don't know what that is. Hypergeometric distribution. That's yeah. isn't that the uh, the real name, like the full name for counting cards, like the math name. I think. I don't know. I, don't know. I learned it. One. I had to learn hypergeometric distribution. Did you know, Rem? In the Blizzard game Hearthstone, I am a legend player. I was in the top oh. three thousand in the country. Oh yeah! Wow! Point. Holy shit! Look at you, yeah. top three thousand. Yeah, mm. I mean, I was off work for like a week, and yeah. I just played it a bunch. But, but, anyways, top three thousand playing some druid deck, and <laughs> I, but I memorized the fucking hypergeometric distribution chart. For it's always that fun deck. playing and, that uh, stupid game as some stupid noob and like, and then beating somebody and watching them get angry. Because they lost. Oh, yeah. And they just <laughs> yeah. emote the shit out of you. Yeah. Like, sorry, sorry, you know? <laughs> fuck yeah. Hearthstone and fuck Blizzard and fuck all those people who play games. Cody, what, what'd you do? Oh, hey, I'm subscribed oh. to WoW again. Oh, Jesus Christ. Why? Uh, Because Kristen subscribed. So? Actually, you want to know the truth? No. I've been subscribed yes. since November, whenever she played the last time, and I forgot about it, and I just paid for it this whole time. Um, So... Whenever we were playing again, I was like, good news. I already have a subscription, so they're getting my money. Huzzah. Look, look at you. Look at you supporting a bunch of bunch of sexual preverts in that company. That's, that's what you do now. Microsoft's going to clean them up. Microsoft's okay. going to clean them up. Are they? What does and Jules have to say pass. about it? I shouldn't. I should I should move on, right? I should get past that. I shouldn't bring up Jules again until yeah, 301. Yeah, you really should Yeah. 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 Cody, we did. We did. It? I don't think so. I don't. I can't. Not at all. I, I won't even try. Cody, we hit. We hit episode two hundred last week, man. That's like that's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. Like I was ready just that's, to. That's yeah, I'm surprised we're back time. tonight. Yeah, like yeah. it's like a hangover. You know what? It's, it's it's literally the the morning after. You know what I mean? You're like, God damn, was that real? Did that happen? Yeah. 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 And we didn't even yeah. do anything. Really, we just had Stephen on two hundred. And you know, you know but what we would have, Ray. Yeah, but you know, you know, if we were smart men, you, do you know what day we would have had our two hundredth episode on? Two twenty two twenty two. Yeah, the fucking Tuesday. Yeah, that's when we should have done. It. Oh, you know, yeah. dude, we yeah. missed out huge on that one. We got to have it work with fucking the interns and marketing, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Uh. That would have been Tuesday. epic. We, we, that would have been we. We might have we, we that one that might have gotten nominated for something. But then we would have missed we a week. Up. But we do that. We we ma- we get flexible for greatness. When greatness is knocking on our door, Randy, yeah. we we do the splits the best we can for it. You know no, what I mean? We because we don't know how often Cody. greatness rides around. You know, we Cody are consistently slightly better than mediocre, Cody. Yeah. Don't yeah. you try and make us a bit better than that. God, I mean, especially nowadays in the world, all you got to be is a little bit better than normal. Like, you can fucking go far. Everything's stupid right now. Cody, you've got, like, mm-hmm. like this is the best thing ever because, like, you didn't have to do anything. You've been on for, what, 15 episodes, and you got to enjoy 200 of us. No, no. Yeah. It's weird. Like, yeah. According, to, according to some people, you're the best part of the show because everybody hates Randy and I, especially Randy. Right. And, uh, like, like, yeah. Like, uh-huh. You, like, you just came and in. That's the, and you're that's the it. darling. That's, yeah, I yeah. win. Look at you. Give me No. No? You don't want to look don't. at you? Um, Are we still yeah. on your laptop camera? It's, it's nice. No, 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 it's nice. It's just it's nice to be on top. Is that that was all I have to say. And uh here, here's here here's to for uh you know, however many more you want to do. Yeah. I say six. we get I, I say we get to the uh, let's go to four twenty. Yeah. And then we all just Hundred you know milligram I mean? edibles for everybody, and just fuck it. Like that's it. Yeah, see, we, see what happens. And we, and we, I'd have to do a thousand. And we all just dissociate off of the face of the planet. Wow, I did five hundred in Colorado, and just got a headache. It was when weird. You, when you got married? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I I did. It was a concentrate syringe and some ice cream. Yeah, man. 
It was <laughs> not. It didn't do much to me. Like I don't know if I just don't metabolize it right. Or You're a big what. man. Though. You're a big guy. Uh, yeah. Yeah. What are we gonna do with you when you come out this way? Are you still gonna? Is that gonna happen, Randy? Are we gonna? We're we gonna do this in May. I mean, you can come out earlier. Yeah, if you we want. were talking about maybe flying because we have some vouchers we need to use up. Oh, I thought you were leaving um, Kristen at home. She's coming now, so I don't have to rent a car. Is, is Kristen coming? Oh yeah, Kristen's coming. Okay. just to occupy the hot tub. All That's right. all she wants to do. All right, we we can do hot whatever tubs we are want. Nice man. Um, she just wants the hot tub. Okay, because her dad's hot tub broke, so we haven't had a hot tub in a while. And it's nice. Uh, you miss it. Yeah, hot tubs are nice. I get you. Okay. So, all right. So, we got Randy and Kristen coming. This is in May. What are we still looking at? Like the 21st of that weekend there? Yep. Okay. All right. We, we had to do a Labor Day weekend, though. It's like just the next weekend, and everybody would have the holiday. That's Memorial Day, bro. Memorial. What the fuck ever? One of oh, those two shut up, days Randy. Get Don't, a fucking day it's important. Or? They're two entirely right? different days. Yeah, I fuck mix you. those two up. You know, what day is Memorial yeah. Day, motherfucker? Uh, oh, so the twenty eighth, twenty seventh weekend. The problem is, is, like, I get busy with wow. family bullshit. Like, if you get the the weekend before is just easier because I had nothing going on, right? I can spend like literally the entire weekend with you. Oh yeah, and, us too, actually. Yeah, and yeah. Cody, you, you're There's welcome to a come. Barbecue or whatever. You can stay in Randy's Airbnb. I'd put you up in my house, but I got you know I got, I got kids and a family and stuff, and I don't have any room. My family got. I'm be, great with you know kids. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I can put I can put a cot in the basement. You can just right in my studio. I got yeah. a carpet down. Yeah. Cody can do his. I can his bring the cot. I have one. Uh, I have one that used to be in the spare bedroom at the old Cape Cod I rented. Oh, okay. Did I ever tell you about the Cape Cod that I rented whenever <laughs> I, my roommate had the spina bifida? Um, That's the one about where this. I caught him shaving his balls. <laughs> no, you didn't. You right didn't, before a no. date, you didn't get all that. A date. I saw a spina bifida guy in America's Got Talent Extreme do a, a ramp jump in his wheelchair, and he fell on his face. It was hilarious. <laughs> wow, Ram. Ram. Come on. Ram. What? They broadcast uh, it. It was funny. with his hands. He's a goddamn hero. I, I'm not he saying he's not. He's with his hands. I'm not saying he's not. He was an Apple genius, Rem. Okay. He's a genius. I don't, know, fuck, I don't know what that means. All right. Respect goes to his name. Cody's a genius genius. Go fuck yourself. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. Okay. He he was weird because of the he liked to go to Shrek parties, which I never found out what those were, because Kristen put in the chat. Yeah. Uh, but what? you know, like he introduced himself to me. He said, "Okay, you gotta know, I'm Asian, I'm homosexual, and I have spina bifida. And if any of that's a problem, go fuck yourself." And I was like, "Hell yeah! Okay, I know that's where I awesome. stand with this guy. Yeah, good. Fuck yeah! Like I, you know, like and this was on the phone, and then I asked him if he wanted." pizza because i normally offer chinese food but you know and he was like, I don't like pizza. like what about chinese food and he was like i don't like that either and i was like fuck so at least that, it was wasn't front loaded at <laughs> least it wasn't front loaded you know what i mean yeah, yeah. he's good uh, he's safe he's, yeah he's on he's, but no i never told you at the time so i went out i, I hooked up on tinder uh, swiping, and there was this math teacher who taught uh, attention deficit disorder kids. So I was like, "Hey, she'll love me." Oh yeah. Uh, so I opened with the JFK naturally. That's how that works? Yeah. And, yeah, and she laughed. You know it. And, and we, and you know, we exchanged a couple messages over the weekend. And I'm like, "Hey, uh, I would like to take you to a comedy club." So uh, we, brave. We, we plan it all. Brave. And and I get off work. I have exactly an hour and a half to go home and get there like and it's an hour away so i have a half hour to get home get a shower so i get home and i'm like there's this loud ass music and i open the door and it's lady gaga he had an apple home pod yeah because he was a genius yeah uh, and that thing was loud as fuck and he, so he couldn't hear anything and i come in and i round the corner and the bathroom door's wide open and he's sitting on the floor with his feet up here shaving his balls <laughs> like just going to town and I'm like, oh, fuck. And I run and I hit the basement and run down and just start. I start the dryer like I was just trying to make noise. Uh, so he would realize I was I there. Was... Uh, what? Yeah. What yeah, Lady Gaga is. song was uh, it? Uh, Born This Way. OK. Yeah, baby. Um, yeah. But uh, yeah, so I run downstairs and he's not hearing it. So. I'm like, well, I'm not going to get a shower, so we're just going to have to make this do. So I take the the dryer sheets, and I just start rubbing them all over me, you know? <sighs> That's and, yeah, just trying to freshen up a little bit. Uh, and then I snuck out the back door. 
yep. and climbed the fence uh, and hopped down and well, got in my car and drove away. How'd the date go? So, oh my God. So she was fine. Fine. Yeah. But like yeah, yeah, we got on the, she like at the time I had this dude, uh, Rim, I'm a gentleman. Um, <laughs> and I had this dude at work who just flipped the fuck out and they thought he was going to shoot up the car. Oh, fuck. Can you bleep that? Um, Probably not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Uh, they, they thought he was going to shoot the place up. So uh, I told her this whole story. He, like, started a, blo- a vlo- blog blog uh, on uh, fucking... Where did you start the website for this show on? I forget the name of it. WordPress. Word WordPress. Yeah, he started, yeah. Uh, you know, my the company I work for sucks dot... Uh, wordpress.com uh and like it was an epic three week you know uh event where like people hacked his blog and <laughs> put stuff on there inside wow. the body of his articles that he would never find like that he fucked his dog uh and all this stayed yeah. up for like ever so I, I i explained this to her and was telling her the stories and had pictures of the website and like she was so into it but like i was ready to go home and it was like four in the morning and i was like please oh, can we stop talking about this but she was just so into me yeah and into my stories that you know and, I, and that's whenever you know i told her right oh she locked her keys in the car so we had to wait for the fucking doors to come at four in the morning uh and i was like okay yep you have a great night uh and then before she got in her car i said hey i don't ever want to see you again and uh and i left so nice that's you said that you said i never want to see you again yeah i just wanted to let her know there i'm a fuck yes or no kind of guy rim yeah if i'm not fuck yes about something then i'm a hard no hard and no. Okay. i just wasn't feeling it with her i felt like okay. she was yeah. zapping my energy and my vibe and oh, yeah. uh, she was a great lady yep. you know nice lady um Fun suckers. and uh had a decent apartment um but yeah, that, that was a previous. I stopped on my way home that weekend and uh, saw her apartment. We watched like four episodes of Community and her cat tried to scratch me. Um, but okay. yeah, anyways, it, it was, uh, but I caught my roommate shaving his balls um, and it was mm. hard the next day to not be like, so yeah, did you use yeah. Manscaped? You know, oh, well. from NFHC. You know, I want to bring don't that up. Fucking but plug other shit. Use NFHC at no, checkout no, for our, 20% no, off. And we free have shipping. our own sponsors. We're not plugging anybody else's That's sponsors. Amazing. Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah. We're brought to you by Desco Credit Union. Where the desk goes, so does your money. All right. Nice. Yeah. Open a checking account and get, get it. You, they have features so you'll you'll get your payday three days later than you will with most banks and uh your every time that you have something that overdrafts you even though you have overdrafts turned off it's going to charge you a 19 dollar fee um you know like they're stellar like that like they really teach you how to manage your money by just taking a shit ton of it so desco credit oh, union okay all right all right Cody, no, uh, good, pro good. or pro or con, a uh, pro or not pro, uh, shaving your balls. Go. Uh, pro. Yeah. Why? Why did you word that so weird? Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm drinking. Weirdest, yeah. I had fun drinking yeah, last no, night. Shave I'm the balls. Again. Okay. Yeah, you got to shave. Yeah. The balls, no, right? shave the balls. You keep it tidy. You know what I mean? It's not necessarily like a, like a presenting thing. You know what I mean for the significant other or like whatever you deem like the fairer just feels good gender. It just aerates the shit out of it. Yeah, and it's just like damn. I feel like you know half a pound lighter. And right. You know what I mean, the the, the gain yeah, a couple hundred pounds well. and see if it's worth it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's you got a whole it's project like, you got to do to get that done, right, Randy? <laughs> it involves that pull start trimmer, right? <laughs> exactly a literal i gotta go bar. get gas yeah yeah you gotta put the tab in your teeth and you just gotta yank it you gotta wrap your dick in duct tape so you don't in that slice toolbox. it right yep 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 and and mirrors like mirrors. believe it or not take Mir- seven mirrors. eight mirrors uh and wow. peter dinklage the only time i've ever been shaved properly peter dinklage he's hard to it. book he's hard to book yep. God, that's awesome that, he is that. he's in that new movie 
You remember that? Um, hands. remember that that dude who offered to milk me? Uh, from, he he also does yeah. he also does manscaping. And I was like, yeah, you know, I got so many questions. I just might have the guy in the show at some mm. point. You know, Cody can interview him. But uh, no. just manscaping random dudes because you know what? Dudes are fucking gross. Right? They're just they're disgusting. And like I yeah, I, it can be it, it can get bad. Yeah, I'd be curious, like, if we could, like, do an actual survey of how many dudes, like, take care down there versus how many dudes don't, and I'm willing to bet that the majority of dudes well, don't. that's going to be skewed because of, like, Age. you know what I mean? Like, no, I mean, if you, if, you, if you get asked the question, do you take care of your balls or not, you're going to say, yeah, and like, what psycho oh. is going to be like, no, oh, no, yeah. I, okay. I, I fucking neglect my nuggets. You're right. I'm, I'm relying that's on people it. to need, be honest We need to get a random sampling. Yeah, no. There's Random no honest sampling of 500 men and yeah. just check them. Just okay. check them. You know, I like just that. Check them. You'd be, you would know love check them. Randy, if you if you were able to like to set that up, like put out an ad somewhere for like 500 dudes to set up uh, to be to get the balls checked, I I would, we set the over under at like 125 and I'm betting the over of how, how many people actually show up for that. Because dudes are fucking that. gross. <laughs> right? They're just gross. I mean, you've seen these, you've seen, Cody, you know, you watch a lot of porn. You've seen these gangbang videos, right? And dudes just sign up out of nowhere and just to stand there stroking their dicks in line, waiting for a turn at the gangbang. You've seen this. Mm -hmm. Lisa Sparks. Well, no. The, the biggest gangbang. Not, not necessarily that, but like the glory hole stuff. It's just like, there's a lot of faith going on. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like when you see one of those going on, if it, if, if it is an honest to goodness, like anonymous, like, you know, pump and dump, because it's right. just like... You know, somebody gross could have just like you know wandered off of you know the the, the fucking border of, of <sighs> you know Stankville and you know Gross Town, and just wandered in and be like, this is fine for me to do, and then just everyone is everyone is a, a, an unhappy camper in like a week. Like some dudes are just so comfortable, like taking their dicks out and like stroking in front of people, and that's weird to me. That's so weird to me. Like you know what? Like, yeah, like my cousin, he was in a fraternity, and oh. I think that's the key. Okie cookie. Yeah, he had to play okie cookie. Okie cookie. Yep. Yeah, man. Lemon biscuit. No. Mm -hmm. Hey, don't, well, he he won, so he no. didn't have to worry about it. You don't. There's no winners. <laughs> there's no winners in that one. <laughs> well, he finished first. No, like, he no. Came first, so he Randy, didn't that to. that game is Russian roulette with a with a magazine fed handgun. No revolver, just a mag. That that's Russian roulette. With a spring-loaded magazine. Hey, didn't you There's get the memo, no Cody? No, no X nay the Russian talk. Oh, yeah, All we right? can't talk about that. It's a very sensitive topic. Yeah, yeah. for Rich Dickman Corp. Uh, yeah. We have a lot of interest. <laughs> that's, in, uh, uh, that's enough. That's enough. Oh, that's enough. sorry. That's enough. Yeah, there's a reason Stephen isn't here tonight. Muting. All right. Yeah, all right. No, 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 don't mute. Don't mute. Just don't talk about that. This timeline oh, okay. sucks. Yeah, it's this, awful. I, I want my money back. This Isn't timeline it, sucks. Great wrestling in this timeline, though, Cody. Uh, yeah, great no, wrestling. no. But I, I want a refund. Like, I want to go full Karen on this timeline. I want to, I want to be like that Karen in the Panera. Yeah, it's just like, but I ordered, uh, but I ordered a U pick two with no bread and an apple, and you know what I mean, just. You know, How'd you know I cause went to a Panera this week? Scene. Everyone you... goes to Panera once a week, Randy. I haven't been there in years, Codes. Uh, Did you get the broccoli and oh. cheese soup, Randy? That shit was yeah, a bomb. Yeah, she, she's like, do you want a bowl Fucking or a heroin. cup? And I said, uh, bowl sounds smaller, bowl. Uh, no. That no, bowl was fucking you get a cup, huge. you dumbass. I know. I couldn't eat. Like I was like, oh my God, there's so much soup here. And then the <laughs> hunk of bread. And then I got this like half a steak sandwich. Yeah. It was terrible. You're it supposed to get super, salad. Super peppery. You're supposed to get soup and salad. That's, Don't tell me what to do. Now, I'm gonna tell you what to do. You're supposed to get soup and salad up in Did there. they make a good Caesar salad? Yeah, bro. They I mean when I was there ten years ago they did. I haven't been there since. It's been a while. I think they pivoted. Now they do pizza. What? Cody, can you confirm yeah, they that? do pizza? Mm, they do like flat flatbread shit, right, Randy? Is what you're talking yeah. about? Yeah, you know, fucking yeah, American people. True. God damn, flatbread isn't a thing. Like, what, can we stop with this bullshit? Like, either do pizza or don't. You know, don't don't do flatbread. Like, uh, that, my bread didn't raise in the oven, so I'm gonna put some shit on it. Here you go. It's too much for you, except anti semite. Except <laughs> one exception. <laughs> it Subway. Is, it is too much. For steak me. and cheese and egg. 
Randy. Breakfast sandwich on their flatbread is Man. amazing. That's all. Man. Subway Subway has one good thing. Um, and it has to come from a certain subway. I'm just subway like, trying to like through. fucking wrap my head around the concept of like having breakfast at Subway. I'm just like, <laughs> what kind of wait, sad ass crowd no. is in here? Like, oh, wait, no, there's Randy. I, I see him right time. there. I see Randy right there. Cody, He's breakfast right at Taco Bell. Ahead of me. Who goes to Taco Bell? Yeah, that's Bell? good. Oh, I've been there, done that. Is it? Oh, I've never been. I'll do that. That shit's amazing. Okay. Yeah, man. I had breakfast I at Chick fil A. Taco Bell right before they launched that shit. AM, oh, really? Sausage, AM, Crunch and Wrap. Do it. Hey, I think I did. Randy, is is the is the ground beef actually ground beef or is it like like a soy no, protein? Of course. No, it's it's young. What is it? <laughs> it delicious. comes in a bag and they put it in a thing called a therminator. That yeah, boils the shit out of it. Oh, uh, so does their chicken. So does their steak. Same with their nacho cheese. All goes in the same boiler. Boiling Therm- bags. Okay. You know, yeah. I can't. I I wanted to go. I wanted to get a taco over the weekend. Like I can't. I can't talk my wife into going to Taco Bell, even though every time we, I get her some tacos, like one day I came home with like a thing of twelve tacos and I ate like seven of them, um, maybe eight. And oh she, wow! Yeah, it's she had hard a good time. because it's it's honestly it's honestly a ticking time bomb situation when you get the hard tacos. Yeah, well, you got you because they, about that they, lady. They, they, just, they dissolve. You know right, what I mean? Right. Yeah. You're just like if you get the twelve pack And I don't like soft. Every every man every man knows their fucking worth of how many of, the, of like they can get through the twelve pack before the taco is too soggy to continue. You I gotta know try I mean? that. Like, oh man. I can only eat four of these before Taco Bell you know, is so hard to find in I Connecticut. Out. Like if if you're not in a big city in Connecticut, it's hard to find a Taco Bell. So really? like, yeah. I got two near me. That's and awesome. I'm on a tiny pebble <laughs> Where I'm from, Rim, there are three. Yeah, within ten miles wow. of each other. Like, like, like it, where I'm from originally from. Definitely uh, do breakfast there, Reb. I'll have to check but it out someday. What I wanted to say is, like, whenever I worked there, like part of the training, we covered this time they got sued by this lady, who like her dentist had to remove cockroaches from her mouth that had burrowed in there that she got from eating Taco Bell, and they were like, "This was not real," but they said it so much that you kind of were like. That really happened. It had to have yeah. happened. You know what I mean? And I'm kind of like, oh, I really don't want cockroaches burying into my mouth and then having yeah. babies. Yeah, right, right. Um, yeah. You don't want you, know? you don't want bugs having babies in your body. Mm, that's yeah. right. I, man, the worst thing I've ever seen with roaches. Yeah. They tore down some government housing across the street from the pizza joint I was running. And holy yeah, shit. Randy. They all marched. You're, you're freaking like, out. I mean, Cody. we had to call You need to stop. Oh, we had I'm just saying we had a exterminators there day and night just trying to fucking keep them out Which of the pizza boxes the terminex man oh, with man. his robot suit with his exo with his Can exo I? mech suit there were three of them uh they, they worked in shifts just spraying the shit down because you see one there's 20 more somewhere else it's Can fucking I share crazy. a horror story yeah abs- yes. absolutely we got nothing tonight so, so go for it. you're hosting yeah uh, I, I it was like before I was even in college. Like my parents wanted me to like just get used to like being in a college, like atmosphere and yeah, class. Awesome so they parents. signed me up for like j- just it wasn't anything fucking serious or anything like that. It was literally just drawing in perspective, like architecture and shit like that. At like there's this art school that shall be rena- named fucking re- 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 remain anonymous. Excuse me for this. Is it the one segment. Dave Chappelle got an award from? I don't know, but Travis would also have stern words against this institute <laughs> of uh, Travis Lee of Roast Mortem Cast. But I, I, I went there, and every day, because I thought it was like just the coolest thing. Like on my walk there, there was a pizzeria, and and it said like uh, deal for students, and you know you get one slice, get a second slice for free, and a free drink. So it was just like, oh my god. Why would I not eat here every fucking day? You know what I mean? So it's just like you pay $3 for a slice. You get a second slice for free because it's a BOGO. And then you get a drink to wash that down. It's just like... Speedway what, still has that deal. What, the Speedway gas that. stations? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I do that. The in, and I'm taking classes like twice a week. And this, this requires me going all the way into fucking New York City, mind you. <laughs> so like I'm like... I go to this guy fucking there's only one guy working there because I see him every time and there's no one else working there. I go there every every like fucking like twice a week and then like on the last day of school F failure 
like health inspectors shut down. There's like two like industrial like deroaching vans parked outside that have like the fumigation hood all over the entire shop. And I'm just like, that's the place that gave me free things. I like it. Wow. No, like it's it. what bad. kind of your story? Oh, is it's it? It's bad. It's like just oh. failure. F by the health. You didn't have like m- mites burrowing into your penis or anything, right? I, no, I don't think. I. I mean, didn't occur to me to check the penis after having the pizza. You should but always check your penis like, after having pizza. Fuck, like, that's man. first rule, bro. You know this. You're from Can New you York. Imagine getting free sh- getting free shit from a place that like gets an F from the health inspector. That's horrifying. You know, nowadays they have to put the grade in the window. Yeah, certain places. Yeah, at the mall that I my daughter I take took my daughter walks around there with her girlfriend. Anyways, uh, took her there and I play Secret Service. It's fun. Um, they say ours is available upon request. Uh, but I didn't ask. I, you know, that's a little forward. But Cody, you're, you're talking about your parents reminded me of I did this program growing up called Upward Bound because uh, uh. neither of my parents went to college. So it's a great <laughs> program uh, that lets let me live on campus uh, oh, yeah. during the summers. And then, like, they paid me a stipend throughout the year, which was great. It helped me mm. in a couple of tight spots. Um, and once a year, they took us on a big trip. And so that's how I got to go to New York, Atlanta, and uh, somewhere in Pennsylvania. I don't know, like Hershey, maybe. That oh, Hershey's kind of nice. Uh, Cody, you ever been to Hershey, Pennsylvania? Yeah. No. You should check it out one day. You should, you should, you know, when you're doing your cross country tour, instead of just staying in the South, you should have gone to Hershey, Pennsylvania. The South has barbecue, Rem. But the South has barbecue. <sighs> okay. All right. How many barbecue joints did you hit up in your tour? Like all of them, dude. Did you really? Okay. Like, all right. You do you know what the people in this, you, Do you know what this, those sluts, you know, south of the Mason Dixon do to tater you say tots? Sluts? Just like, oh my God. Yeah. Yes. The, the way they treat tater tots, Rem. Yeah. I'm going to go out of my way. It's an orgasmic and call experience. The, the, the culinary it was phoebe's diner and just order the order the fully loaded tater tots See, cody that's awesome you like hit like these famous food joints didn't you i want to do it that. wasn't famous it oh. was just like just google tastiest thing around me and then like oh i guess in you know it has notoriety in that sense but like we definitely did like the franklin family barbecue where you just spend too much money on like ribs and sausage you know i'm going to um i'm going down to to uh, outside of dc in a couple weeks, beginning uh, like the 7th, 8th, and 9th of March. And I think I have the night of the 7th, 9th of the 8th there. I'm going to get me some fucking Maryland blue crab. Like one of those with the big big picnic tables where you have the mallet and you got to break the shit and throw all the stuff in the, in the garbage in the center. I've always wanted to do that. And my older kids are boring. And because my older kids are boring, my wife doesn't want to do much because my older kids are boring. And um, anyways, yeah. Oh, you have younger kids now? I got lots of kids. Rain, I got lots of kids. You know. Are you like my friend Jared? My friend Jared, before he was 16, he had Some seven talk illegitimate about. kids across the country. Yeah, I don't have any illegitimate. None that I know of. I don't have any illegitimates that I know of. I might have. Well, and then there was my uh, grandpa. He, they called him Noah <laughs> around the block because uh, he had four with my grandma and then 13 illegitimate. Wow. Um, so That's a lot. He, Cody, he how many illegitimate kids do you have? Um, zero-ish is, is where I want to Ish. Yeah, okay. Bad number. Yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. you know. Uh, no. Let's just say zero. Wait. Here comes a fucking awesome segue. Cody, because you you avoid no, those illegitimate you, kids wait, stop. No, by wearing condoms, on? right? Right? Oh, we're, we're doing this now. What, why not? Men are on. Way, way to make it weird and, and, and personal to me, Rem. But yeah, okay. Well, you're the one who brought it up. So, anyways, no, put the I link didn't. in the chat. Uh, I don't know. C- Cody, do you want me to read the headline? Or do you want to read the headline to this article that I found? Because this is uh, amazing. You found it. Go ahead. FDA makes history. OK's first condom specifically indicated for anal intercourse. The U.S. and Food Drug and, excuse me, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration made history Wednesday. It authorized the marketing of the first condom specifically indicated to help reduce the transmission of sexually transmitted interact infections during anal intercourse. The federal agency announced okay. the, the condoms, which will be marked as the one male condom, are also indicated as a contraceptive to help reduce the risk of pregnancy and transmission of STIs during vaginal intercourse as well. 
All right, so you guys, okay, ready? I'm going to go through this article. I need you two to talk about this no, for a Ran- minute. No, <laughs> here, Randy, ready? You're going to be my you're going to you're going you're gonna to be my workshop mate on this one. Okay. What's 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 the flashy brand name we give the 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 specifically anal condom? You know what I mean? Like it, it needs Pain a flashy because you ran out of honey. Anal. Um, backside, mm. back backside. Trojan presents backside. No, nothing. You guys, come on. Your entrance. Um. That's too obvious. No, I don't. I don't really dig it, Rim. Secret like, passage. I think we can do better. Oh, yeah. There um, we go. That's the, the one. The secret passage. Secret passage by Trojan. That's yeah, that's fantastic. Go. Wow. That's that's just that's doubly sneaky. I'm sure Trojan would love that. The the <laughs> the companies whose brand name is a trap, a sneaky trap that like you know of, of ancient Troy, and then also. A hidden passage. They they'd love yeah. that all together. Yeah. What if what if what yeah, if I think you did it, Cody? What if T Pain did the advertisement? Trojan presents <laughs> secret passage for your girl or your guy or whatever you want it to be. You're whatever's butt compatible, you know. Yeah. I mean? Listen, I encourage uh sex of all sorts between consenting adults of all uh consenting adults of all types. So this is awesome. You know what? I, this article, however, doesn't give us what's special about this condom that makes it an anal condom. No, um, uh, they don't. They, that's the that's the family secret. You know what I mean? If the Keebler elves told you what was in the chocolate, you just go and make your own chocolate. Amara says in the so, chat like, that they they come with paper templates. What the fuck is that? Now I have to read some more. Okay, you guys keep talking. I'm gonna read about this. Great, good. Oh no. Oh oh, here we go. I don't According know why the, this is reminding me of that. Oh, never mind. Uh, go ahead, Randy. I'll, I'll get to this after. Oh, it's terrible. It's reminded me of those, like, well, I mean, I think it's good. The anti-rape devices that they we have. We don't yeah. use that word. That's a, that's a, oh. it's a, it's a, it's a trigger word, Brett. You got to well, do it. No, it's warning. saving lots of mm. women in Africa and girls. What is it? Like, uh, like spikes device. that they spike, spiky underwear? Yeah. Yeah. It's like oh. a reverse condom with, with spikes. I think. Oh, word. Yeah. Okay. All right, so let me let yep. me because because we got new and, toys and here, they get, and it gets their DNA like instantly, like oh shit, can't get it off. At the yep. at, at Rich Dickman Group, we got some new toys this week, um, so I'm going to see how this one works. Okay, so so don't mind me. What? <clears throat> What's coming? Out? Huh? According to the FDA, the one male condom is a natural rubber latex sheath that covers the penis. It has three different versions: standard, thin, and fitted. The fitted condoms available in 54 different sizes. Incorporate a paper template to aid in finding the best condom size for each user. When used during anal intercourse, <laughs> okay. the one male condom should be used with a condom compatible lubricant. Wait a second. Wait a second. We have three versions in 54 yeah. sizes. Holy shit. Rim, I feel like you know how they have those, like you go to Walmart and they have the Dr. Shoals you can stand on and it tells you what thing to wear. I yeah. feel like they need one for this. Like you That's walk what the paper template thing is, in. I'm assuming. Yeah, they want you to like put, put it, your, print it up, put cut it out. Counter. Yeah, put it on the coffee table, <laughs> you know, next to the scones and the fine china, and just you know, plop it out. You know, you're kind of like making like the Thanksgiving. T- yeah, get a get one of your kids' crayon, and you're kind of like making like the Thanksgiving turkey with your with your nuts on the paper template. Yeah, but it's not a turkey. It's like a. Uh, I don't know. What would be? A, Can you what get kind your of hands animal on that PDF? Make with a, with a, with What's a that PDF. PDF. Uh, I, I, you have yeah, to, of, the, to of the template. Yeah, what to Google for it? But you imagine yeah. going in, you find, know, Walmart, find me that going to Walmart. Go to Walmart, and then on the side of the pharmacy, there's near it says Fluffer. Right? It's like goddamn Walmart's changed. You go there, and you get you get your shit, and you get your shit all erect, and then you can measure yourself accurately at the Doctor Sol Scholl's condom machine. This is great. This is this is oh. fantastic. I love this. What? You see yeah. find pictures? Uh, can somebody no. call? No, I couldn't find it. But can somebody call Stephen Dickman and tell him to take his goddamn voice modulator back? Jesus Christ! Why? What's wrong? I just 
you're like, I have to try and listen. Like, I don't ever li- try and listen. Oh, I never switched it back. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. I apologize. Holy no, you're fuck. Not. Like, not that purpose, fucked with asshole. my <laughs> deficit of attention, Rim. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. I thought I hit the right key bind. No, you're not. I mean, we're still you. learning. This is new technology to the to the show. I'm no, sorry. It's, it's I, not. It, it, no, it is. That, that was the wrong. I was supposed to use this voice. I was supposed to use this voice. Was... the Dr. Scholl's condom thing? I said that, didn't I? Yeah, no, I was, I was expanding. Yeah, on so it's weird that you would ask why now, you now said quiet. something. I was expanding so on your confused. idea. Hold on a second. Let me make sure I'm in the oh, right good. voice. Oh, good. I couldn't understand you, though. Can you do it again? Yes. What I said was, it'd be wild to walk into Walmart, right? And at the pharmacy area, they have an area that says fluffer, right? So you go over there, you get fluffed up, you get your shit all up and ready to go, and you can get a proper measurement for your new anal intercourse condom. Okay. Yeah, you know, my uh, first time. my friend, you remember my friend Jared, who has the legitimate kids that I mentioned earlier, his With mom. With the spina bifida guy? Who, sure. uh, no, 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 this is different. This is a childhood friend. His oh. mother uh, works in the pharmacy at Walmart, and she'd be an okay fluffer. Oh, shit, okay. I worked at the pharmacy in Walmart, too, for like like nine, 10 months. I, I worked at the Walmart pharmacy. Yep. Ray, C- oh, Cody, man, I got a bro, a wow bro, who I know like IRL because uh, we grew up together. Like he used to cheat off me in first grade. Uh, <laughs> he works at a Kroger pharmacy, and that's like that's that's what he's doing. Cody, you ever work at a Walmart? No, no. Walmart does this weird thing. Well, they did, you know, in 1999 when I worked there. Holy shit, that's 23 years ago. Wow, I'm fucking old, you guys. Anyway, I used Walmart to get a pay raise once. Really? Yeah, they do. They do I got uh, a job offer from them, and then took it to my current company, and was like, "I mean, I, what, what can I say? It's more money." Yeah, and they were like, "We'll pay you fifty cents more than that," and I was like, "Okay, hell yeah, good." Damn, you leverage Walmart. that shit. Yeah, and you'd have to be part of the crazy Walmart cheer they do every morning. Like they have a morning meeting, right? And then Ooh. they say, "Okay, let's do it," and then all the claps are like. And then they do their Walmart chant. It's the weirdest shit ever. It's like I'm standing there, that like, what the fuck selfish. is happening right now? Yeah, I've done crazy. yoga in an Amazon warehouse before. Oh yeah, that sounds like something Amazon. Yeah, would do. a couple of years ago, I needed to work. I worked a month uh, for Jeff Bezos <laughs> in the warehouse. Christmas time, and uh, it was hard time uh, because I went in from like two thirty to six thirty a.m. So I'd literally get off work, drive over there, sleep in their parking lot for like two hours, get up, do the shift, and uh, anyways, uh, I would get in there and there's just all these fucking people that were just tired yesterday and don't know what the fuck they're doing. Yep. Um, and, and so they're, they're sitting there and they're, it's literally, you pick a package up, you walk it to where it needs to go and you put it down on a pallet <laughs> and you stack it nice and neat. Whenever it gets a little high, you, you wrap it with some saran yeah, wrap. Every fucking time anymore. I would turn my back, every fucking time I would turn my back, some motherfucker would fuck up the stacks. Yep. And I'd be like, God damn it. I'd be yeah. like, guys, no, we talked about this. And, I I, and I'm pictures. so used to like leading people. Yeah, I'm so used to leading people that I'm like, hey, guys, let's take a second. Look, if we all work together and we stack things properly, we're not going to get fuckered stacks and we're not going to have to redo everything later. Yep. So like, let's do that. Mm. And, and nothing, they're like, oh yeah yeah. Yeah. And yeah, then, yeah, yeah. And then they walk over. You do it. And then and then they start mixing packages wrong. Like yep. and so then I was like, put me in a truck somewhere, dude. Uh and anyways, uh that was a rough stint. But one day I came in and they're like, We're gonna do some yoga. And I was like, I did not just sleep two hours in a car to fucking come in here and do goddamn yoga. <laughs> so, you know, here I am. I'm just like, mm-hmm. And then I literally just started standing there because I didn't get it. <laughs> and then uh, I stopped showing up uh, like two weeks later. Good. But I made wow. $23 an hour doing that shit and uh, paid off. See, the thing with Amazon, Christmas. they have so much money is that they can get away with that. They can get away with their, their shitty drivers getting into accidents and shitty employees. That Cody, I don't know if you've ever They're worked They're worried about running out of humans. Did you remember that? Yeah. Did you yeah. see that article? That's, that's They're it. They're worried about running out of humans. Because they'll never run out like of money. They, their turnover is so ridiculous. That I have. They're just like, oh, shit. So um, I mean, how do I? So Amazon. They're doing a lot of their own delivery, and what I've heard 
from other people that I know is that Amazon will sometimes put their packages inside of a receptacle that they're not allowed to put them in. And so the people who own those receptacles take them out and bring them back to their own offices. And then they contact Amazon and you're like, hey, Amazon, your driver's fucked up. You need to come get these parcels. And then Amazon says, uh, no, just, just keep them and throw them away. So there's places that just have piles and piles of Amazon goods just ready to be thrown away. They just open up and take all the shit home for free if they wanted to, if they wanted to, allegedly. You know, or they just throw it in the dumpster. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's insane. Yeah. Yeah, you think just... they would do something smart because they're struggling with money oh. and they'd put them on pallets and auction them off to people. And Mara's mad at me. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry, Mara. I get a, a fuck you, Rem. There's a website my ADHD ass and I have time for this. I'm sorry. Okay, I thought it was funny. I'm sorry you're, you're researching anal condoms. I thought we did the research for you. Uh, good luck. Let us know what you find. Oh man, yeah. Amara, also Sorry, send that I didn't document come up with to Cody. Anything better than Painel? Don't. I still feel about good. that. Feel good. bad about that. Painel. I should have. Like, it's a good thing. So, like, you know, like, what did Cody come up with? Uh, Cody, put 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 your name of the of the condom in the chat. Passage. too. I already forgot. I'm that high. I already Hidden forgot. passage. Hidden Damn passage. It. Secret passage. Hidden passage. No. No, secret, secret passage. passage. Secret passage. All right, so we got secret passage. And so that I other like thing. Grundle print better. Yeah, those are both good, but it's going to depend on. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Take a note. Okay. We should do a GoFundMe for our own anal condom. You we know, we can shot. call it the. Yeah, we the, should. You know, something, something with dick. Here's a toast it. to you two, my 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 best friends in the whole wide world, my only friends, really. Absolutely. Uh, except for Walter. Walter's my friend, and Matt's my friend. I love those guys. Good friends. Jay, you know, friends. Walter's a really good friend. I was chatting with him yesterday a lot more than I was with Randy. Walter's coming around on me. Walter's, Walter's yeah, a good. Like Anyways, that's awkward. Yeah, no, uh, uh, here's to, here's to, here's to at least 99 more episodes. Slancha. No. Slancha. One, 100. At least, I said at least. Oh. I want 35 so, dozen. Yeah. Uh, Amara's putting, uh, more of the, uh, these fucking anal condoms in the chat. Wait, Shelby Sweet's developer at Dog Mom? Listen, you can't. You can't make a condom wrapper and then call yourself a dog mom. That's weird to me. That's weird to me. <laughs> yep. It's weird you draw a line there. Like, <laughs> like that's your line. That's the hill that Rim Dickman's going to die on. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you can't be a dog mom and make an anal condom. You know what I mean? Like, there's you, you have to you have to draw the line somewhere. And for you, you can't be a dog mom and make an anal condom. Listen, there's there's levels to to. to degeneracy all right and you know my degeneracy goes pretty low right it stops wow it stops at a certain point i don't mix i don't mix certain things in my degeneracy like animals uh, i don't shit where i eat ever <laughs> yeah see exactly i got some boys that shit where they ate and it didn't work out well for them. it's gross Why is do that you thing? guys drink do you guys drink where you shit yeah sometimes like, you drink while you, 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 you occasionally yeah, do you take like a water bottle or like a thermos into the bathroom? Pedialyte. I've eaten a waffle. Does that cross the line? Rough. No, I've eaten a waffle shitting. I was trying to get two things done at once. I had to shit and I had to eat breakfast. That's gross. No, I'm you, sorry, you, Cody. No, you, you got me all eat. lubricated tonight. I'm, you know, I'm just ready to talk about Ew. talk about this. yeah. That's disgusting. Are you okay, bud? You keep you keep turning away and burping and no. are you gonna throw up? It's too no, much Jameson. No, Please I have to throw up. <laughs> Please throw up. Cody. No, the Jameson went down the wrong cube. Oh, yeah. They were hiccuping. And it's Hiccups are the worst. Oh, like, so there's there's to... not much in the world yeah, that'll bring me down far enough to where I want to, like, physically hurt myself. And hiccups are that thing. Like, I, 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 yep. I just, yeah. You know what? I'll take a razor blade to my wrist. I don't give a shit when I have hiccups. I fucking hate hiccups. Yeah, I hiccuped for an hour and a half the other day. It was so annoying. Dude, really? I was in yes. a meeting. How did you do? How did you? Meeting. How are you still alive? Like, dude, I just hiccup. I hiccup whenever I don't hiccup Fuck. often, but whenever I do hiccup, it's I'm for just, a very long fucking time. Well, like, uh, yeah, it's really annoying. Ask it's Kristen. awful. Like, I get angry. Like, I start, I start getting angry. I get agitated. I throw things when I have hiccups. I try to hold my breath. Like, pass out. Wow, Cody's like losing it over there. I hate my life. <laughs> Kill me. Uh do you like you I like that guy in the Simpsons? Hiccups, man. Forty-seven years he had yeah. the hiccups. And he's like, <laughs> kill me, <laughs> and me, kill me, please, <laughs> and my misery. I'm so tired. <laughs> I'm out of. I wonder what fire. the world record is for hiccups. 
It's too much. That's what it is. Too much. I, I, I feel such pain for the people who have hiccups all the time. It, they're just, just the worst fucking thing. That, that and wind. Wind is awful. Those are the things I hate is hiccups and wind. I hate those things. Yep. Drunk Anyways. hiccups are pretty funny. Like when you get momentum <laughs> drunk and you're hiccuping at the same time, Kristen's mother gets that way occasionally and then leaves a voicemail. It's pretty cool. <laughs> we haven't had a voicemail from her in a while. Well, she hasn't gotten like yo, Kristen. Shit-faced for why? A while. Why isn't? Why didn't she get? Why didn't she get the party people to wish us happy two hundred last week? That's kind of. Now I'm thinking about it. That's kind of bullshit. Well, uh, we. I almost got people to leave a voicemail on Saturday when we had Tennessee moonshine. Oh, Kristen's friend's house. Yeah, I broke my no drinking rule real quick for that. Dude, it was you suck. Real. It was so good. Like you are and made of that sneaky like, drunk. Fucking vanilla pudding. Who, Randy? Hey, yeah. Fuck you, Cody. I haven't been to McDonald's in. Hold on. Hold on. I'll tell you. I'll tell you, motherfucker. Hold I'll tell you how long on. it's been. It, it has been twelve days since I've been to McDonald's or on social media. Okay. okay. I have woken up at five thirty and you know, cooked my own goddamn breakfast. Hold on. On a fucking griddle. Like I know you're on your high horse right now, but shut the fuck up for a second because your twelve days now on social media means no retweets for the show promotion. Okay. Like Cody at least has popped on and tw- retweeted twice. Sarah hey, Starr gave us a noticed. retweet. All right. Yeah. Thank yeah. you, Cody. Appreciate it. But you fucking I'm a Randy, team just like you're not you're not contributing anymore. There's nothing added to the show notes. I'll have like, Kristen. I'll give her the login and have her do that. It's like Can, we we we. It, it's like TRDS got shafted twice. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. By the by, this entire thing. I'll it's write like, a Python Oh, he doesn't script. want to do a stony curiosity. Yeah. Oh, but he does want to stay off of social media. Like it, it's a it's, double-edged sword. I know. He got stabbed twice. This fucking sober thirty-two, or whatever the fuck he's calling it now, is like the worst thing that ever happened. Uh, by the way, uh, Amara threw a uh, link in our chat. So check out uh, bit.do slash TRDS one and you can get yourself a free sample oh. of an anal condom boom check it out all right the is the government are, sending out them that's no the government can't even get their covid fucking tests out they're sending out in the fucking winter there's like liquid in them it's the shit's freezing oh i and got stuff. mine fuck you stupid fu- can i just be clear about something i'm drunk right now and i just want to be very clear about something i want everybody to understand uh that i am neither left nor right i am not pro Pro Trump. I am very pro Biden. I love Joe Biden. He's the greatest president in the United States ever, and I love the guy. He's my hero. I wish I could be just like him when I'm 78. Uh, is that um, I totally support the crippling of the entire government and everybody losing their jobs and like having no government. Like I'm. That's where I'm at now. Like no laws and everybody take care of themselves. All right. So so if you try to espouse Easy, any Alex type of Jones. ideas to me, uh, go fuck yourself. Because I want, I hate everybody. You know that Tyler Durden world, don't yeah. you? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And I wish my son was a little bit older because he needs to watch Fight Club, especially in these trying times. He needs to watch Fight Club. Yep. Dude, let's let's all like crash your house and watch Fight Club with your son. Dude, come yeah, out! All, let's, let's, I watched. Let's it get like six. That. Let's get like four microphones going and be like, <laughs> "This is this is how we become oh, a man." Yeah. Speaking you're, of, so you're gonna he, learn about. He'll be Tyler 14 Durden. in May. We watched The Karate Kid, uh, the first Karate Kid two weeks ago, and Karate Kid 2 this past Saturday. This past Sunday, because we had wrestling on yeah. Saturday. All right. Let me tell you something. I don't know. If, if you guys seen Karate Kid 1 and Karate Kid 2, we're going to do three this weekend. But have you guys seen Karate Kid 1 I and 2? I watched The Three Little Ninjas. Wow. Yeah, fuck. No. Up. Oh, wait, hold on. Wait a second. Are you fucking telling me neither one of you has seen either Karate Kid movie? I remember the, the wax on, wax through. off bit. Fuck yeah, both of you. Holy yeah, shit. So I like I have this whole thing I want to talk about with I the karate kid. But you sons of bitches will have no idea what I'm talking about, so it's gonna fall. Anyways, for those of you out there who have watched Karate Kid one and two, all right. Fucking they, are, they are entirely different movies. Karate Kid in eighty four, Karate Kid two in eighty six. And you're thinking, you go into Karate 2 thinking, oh yeah, Daniel's going to kick some ass again. He's going to beat up some bullies. This is fantastic. No, he doesn't do shit. He falls in love with a girl and doesn't do shit to the end of the movie. It's fucking boring. My son's sitting there. He's like expecting some awesome karate shit. And I'm just looking. I'm just like, I'm sorry, bud. Three gets a little better. It's a little more crazy in three. But this yeah. one's, this like fucking West Side sucks. Story, like- Cobra Kai? No, we don't have to get there yet. We're not. I mean, I've watched the first season. I haven't watched anything beyond that, but I got to get him caught up with Karate Kid 1, 2, and 3 before Did we do Cobra Kai. you see Britt Baker has that sensei dude? Wait a second. Are you, watching, are you watching Cobra Kai without seeing Karate Kid? 
No, 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 no. I I never watch any of that shit. That'd be funny as shit, actually. (laughs) Britt Baker, the AEW Women's Champion, uh, has had there was a cameo from a guy from Cobra Kai and Karate Kid. It was some. He was the sensei for like the bad people, I think. And he told her to have no mercy on Mercedes oh, oh, Martinez. J- uh, Johnny Lawrence or uh, Sensei John Kreese? Johnny Lawrence sounds right. Okay. Let me let me see. AEW um, Cobra Kai. Cody, did you watch Peacemaker related. yet? No, fuck me. That's HBO, isn't it? It's like, uh, Can you? It's yeah, like, there's eight episodes. Can you watch eight episodes of Peacemaker between now and next episode? Or next show? That sounds like homework. Why? What are we doing? Because 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 I need somebody Martin to talk about Cove. Peacemaker with, and I'm but working on getting a guest in here. You can't do that on the a podcast. Secret guest. Fuck that. Sensei Kreese. Uh, yeah. His can't name. Do that on the show. Yeah. It's Sensei Kreese. Martin Cove. Yeah. Well, jo- can, Sensei you, John Kreese. Save the bonus episode. Who? For what? You guys gotta so do a bonus fucking, episode tomorrow. Peace, no peace, mate. No, yeah, I got, I yeah. got a bunch. Oh, of I shit, smoked man. all my weed. Just about. I don't have Randy, God left. damn it! People this. love stony curiosity. Rim, don't come at me like that, bro. No, Randy, you have obligations. You better step off, Rim. You know where I come from, and I don't play. I will not tolerate disrespect at that level. I come from the north end of Middletown. You understand me? That goes hard. You have no idea what you're getting into right now. All right, settle down. Find some weed. Don't you, Chris Jericho? Me. People love right. Stony Curiosity, Randy. How dare you take that away from them? What are you gonna make me do it? I don't. I don't touch the stuff. No, I simply said we would do it after this 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 episode. Okay. All right. So, Cody, that's on you, man. You gotta I keep guess, going together. Yeah. Look at I, <laughs> Randy. I guess we're on your fucking schedule. No, if Cody's cool with it. That, that, you didn't let me finish. You interrupted oh, me again. Oh, oh, yeah. You got to be cool with it for every... I got to be the shitty glue to make this work. Yeah, so unfortunately, yeah. with Randy, you do, and I have to be shitty glue as well. Okay? It's like it's a fucking project. Yeah, this is the Randy and shitty glue show. Randy yeah, it doesn't, doesn't roll off the tongue. Brought you to you by Toyota. You're an asshole. Get that adaptive... <laughs> Cruise control <laughs> and, and the safety proofing. features that keep you from rear-ending people. Uh, Toyota moving forward, occasionally too forward. Whenever their fucking cars just go forward and then people die, like remember that that happened. Yeah, Wait, yeah. Toyota please. moving uh, forward. Hey, you guys want to do voicemails? Oh yeah, uh, yeah. I don't know if we have any. Oh I got, yeah, but oh, yeah. I got a transcription yeah. out available. Thanks for calling the Dickman line. I like this Dickman new technology. Six zero three one six four seven seven six. Please leave a message after the beep. Beep. All right, I don't know what we got. We're gonna find out. It's probably something stupid. I bet you there's nothing. Good. It's voicemails. You know, Svensson saw that I was doing 200. That's the only reason Svensson sent anything in last week. He don't listen to shit. He hasn't listened in like 150 episodes. Let's see. Anything? Oh, it's 32 seconds of silence. Really? For real? Well, that's bullshit. Okay, let's go to this one. This one looks like it goes pretty hard. Uh, let's see. To manipulate doing witchcraft. I what? need to speak to you urgently. Press the numerical button one on your telephone so that you can hear this blessed word. The Lord showed me a warring <laughs> angel that is standing at the gate that you must entertain <laughs> to stop here. this attack. Press one now so that you can hear this blessed prophecy. There have been things that have been taking place. That's there has nice. been some form of manipulation, something that has begun to take place. There is a warring angel calling out your name. Maybe. But he's waiting for you to move. Oh, Press one now so that you can hear this word. If you wish to no longer receive these messages, no please hit the option three now. Randy, can we set something like this up where we just call people with shit like that? Absolutely. We would just need to get an auto dialer and purchase like 10 telephony lines. Okay. Uh, tele- telephony lines. Uh, I know a dude. They're going to hook us up. What's uh, what's an I Ching? 
I you already asked article. him this, and he went on forever. You don't remember this yeah. shit, Rem? No, I don't Fuck remember you. this shit right now. <laughs> oh. the I'm sorry, Cody. Rem You're hosting stars. tonight. I'm uh, like I'm stepping no, on you. No, no, You brought. He's going to explain it. This is going to eat eight minutes. I'm just going to be over here. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, re- you don't remember this, do you? No. You go, he, he just goes... He just goes on for like fucking eight minutes about what the I Ching is. Randy, the interns didn't give you any thinking with your dickmans this week. Like, what the fuck did they do? Like, there's nothing. There's nothing ready for this show. I told Cody last I've week lost he was total hosting. Control of the interns. Uh, 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 you know. So the I Ching, it's an okay. ancient Chinese book of divinations and a source of Confucian and Taoist philosophy. Familiar, um, Andrew. Um, yep. It uses, uh, but it uses math too. It's pretty cool. Um, what is it? A toy? You need. No, what are you, what are you fucking, fiddling with? It's an app. Oh, it's an I app? Ching. Yeah, let me re-download it. Oh, I good. Ching. Book of Changes. Um, Open. It's that quick. Yeah. Thank you, uh, Internet. Consult. What do we want to consult the I Ching about? Should I consult it about my gambling? Yes. I Ching. Should I keep gambling? Let's find out. What, did she listen to you, or do you have to type Ooh. it in there? I, I hit the coins. 36 and 63. What's it, what is okay. that? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. Darkening of the light. Darkness reigns in the I external can't. world now. Disengage from negative feelings and maintain your inner light. Whoa. This is a time when darkness and inferior energy surround you. The image is that of the sun completely swallowed by the earth. The only light left is the is that inside your own heart and you are consoled to return to it Maintain so you gotta gamble and quietly nourish yourself with it it's telling you to gamble it is in it is in the dark moments that a correct attitude is most important if we fight against the darkness we are oh, swallowed man. by it and suffer great misfortune if we react to the lack of visible progress with despair and negativity we extinguish our own inner light and block the aid of the creative if we try to persuade others that they must return to the light, we exhaust ourselves in vain. There's a lot of words here, Randy. In a time such as this, it you is don't remember these to words, Rem? A no. Of outer disengagement Thank and God inner I for this. Do God. not focus okay. on or Turn interact with Randy. the negative influences around you. Stop. This only strengthens the grip it. on you. Stop. Step aside. Stop yield. It. Let go. Allow people and events to pass. Randy, stop your reading your bullshit. Your own inner life. Stop it. Your devotion. Stop. To I don't remember how much of a your pain in the ass this is with time. the higher power. Progress may be slow, but there okay. will indeed Randy, be progress. F- okay, remember, that's enough. Okay, let me just do the fifth line. No. An external darkness cannot be escaped stop. now. Stop. You are wise to yield outwardly Fucking while bored. maintaining strength and purpose I within. forgot the joke. Okay, so okay. that that was the first one. Now we got to check no, 63. No, no, After no, completion. No, this, no. So, so that's where I was. This is where I'm going, Rim. It's telling you to gamble. All right, so stop it. Stop. Yeah, buddy. Stop. Just but play lotto. Take $20 a week. This hexagram indicates that movement Son from of a chaos bitch. to order is complete. The See? time is extremely favorable, and you are likely to enjoy much, much success as long as you heed the warning of Chi-Chi. Remain on what? guard against incorrect thoughts, attitude, and actions, Ooh. both in yourself and in others. We arrive in beneficial situations by following the path of correct conduct. I know, Cody. When we have achieved you. success or are close to it, it is in our nature to want to relax and allow the ego to bask okay. in glory. If you revert to this sort of carelessness, no one will undo Randy, all stop. that stop you have talking. to build. That's enough. It's telling you to gamble. Stop it. Mm. I finished. Mm. Sorry, it said to okay. ignore. It, it said to not be attached. So I took that to heart while I was reading. Uh, all right. And, and take, I take, lost my take, attachment. Take, take $20 right? a week and buy a lot of tickets. That's that's the I Ching I'm telling you. That's what I interpreted. $50 as. a paycheck. Is Don't ever do that again. Do. Cody, if I ever say uh, those words again, fucking you just fire me and eliminate I me. I try from to stream. stop you. Okay. <laughs> come out, come out in May. You can slap me in person. So you, you remember, you you're, remember what the I That's is, my favorite. So you don't have to ask anyone what that means. Have I ever told you the joke about the yellow ping pong balls? No. Yes. Stop. Bram. No. No. no I don't remember the joke. Oh my really god. Don't remember okay. the joke. I, no. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go make myself a drink at the other room. <laughs> Enjoy this joke by R- Randy. Bye. Cody, you're hosting today. You can't okay. do that. Uh, All right. Go ahead, Randy. <laughs> Oh, hold on one second. No, there's no one second. Like, okay, so 
anyways, I can't, I'm just going to riff it. So basically, uh, there was this kid and his dad, right? The kid was young. He was growing up. He was three. His dad came to him and said, Hey kid, what do you want for your birthday? And the kid said, you know, dad, I would really like a yellow ping pong ball. So the dad gets him a yellow ping pong ball and the kid plays with it and plays with it. And, uh, is so excited. And the next day the ping pong ball is gone. And the dad says, hey, kid, where'd the ping pong ball goes? He says, dad, don't worry about it. I'll tell you. I'll tell you later. It's just a lot of fun. Thank you. And so it uh, comes around to his uh, 12th birthday. And, you know, he's a little older now. And he wants to do right by him. So he comes back and says, hey, kid, what would you like for your birthday? And the kid says, dad, I'd like some yellow ping pong balls. A pack of them, if you could find it, about six. And dad says, okay, you know, like... Is this uh, still going? I, I, that's a little weird. And... Uh, it's still going. I, I, I'll, I'll get them, you know, I'll, I'll get that for you. And so he gets him the ping pong balls. The kid goes in his room, plays and plays, making noise. And the next day, the ping pong balls are gone. And the dad's like, man. Okay. Cody, why don't you say balls balls something? And so then tried, whenever the kid to. turns 16, the dad comes to him and says, hey, I want to get you a, I get you a car. Um, how about how about something brand new? And the kid says, "No, Dad. You know what I'd really like? A couple packs of yellow ping pong balls. You know, oh if God. you could get your hands on like a big box of them." Oh my God! Oh, right. So the dad goes on Amazon. And oh, has this is awful. Shipping, right, uh, right to his mother's house, and because they split up at this point in time, but uh, right to his mother's house. This is awful. The, kid, uh, the 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 mom calls Boo. and says, "Hey." He he really liked those yellow ping pong balls. I don't even know what's I happening know anymore. Went. I don't know where they went. You, what does he do with the yellow ping pong balls? He oh said, my I god! Don't know. I don't know. But Shut he up! Tell me. Um, so Shut then, the fuck up! Like a couple years go by, and Shut the kid up. gets in a car accident. No. And Shut he, up! His dad comes in and says, "Son, Shut you're, goddamn you're in mouth. the hospital. What what can I get for you to help you better?" And he says, "Dad." Just some yellow ping pong Shut balls. The fuck and his dad says, okay. Shut so up. he he, he goes Shut outside up. and brings them back. And then he leaves and he comes back a little bit later <laughs> after going to the cafeteria and the ping pong balls Fucking are gone. God he damn goes it. out and he asks the nurse, he asks the nurse, what happened to those ping pong balls? Did you see what he did with them? Okay, joke's the over, said, Randy. No, I, was, I, I Stop. thought he took them. Stop. And he goes in and he says, son, you got to tell me, what are you doing with the yellow ping pong balls? And the son says, Dad, and then he died. Is that it? It's good. It's a good one. Isn't yep. it, That's the, the, the most horrible thing I've ever heard in my life. God damn it, Randy. Jesus. Lord Almighty, so our only son and father. That's two for two. You need to listen to Papa Cody Holy when he says, don't fuck. encourage Randy. <gasps> God damn Randy it. does some dumb shit and needs to be put did in I, the corner. Did I ever tell you about my buddy? He's my buddy now. No. Uh, he was my buddy then. No, we don't, were cool. No, I don't want to hear but about your buddy. He would Pull go around his, and I'm say so goodbye to everybody in the building before so he left. So mad at you right now. And every day, he would stop by my desk, and I'd try and see how long I could keep him there. You know what I mean? Just like I would tell myself yeah, my highest It's the bullshit you do. Minutes. Here, stop it. Stop. Don't do that. That's annoying. Okay. People hate that. Good. You don't make friends that way. Okay? Well, yeah, people actually talk about really you behind pissed. your back. Exactly. All right, don't do that. I you don't. Do. You, you know what you are, Randy? Yeah. You're the people who drive less than the speed limit like we talked about earlier in the show. Call back, Cody. Call back. All Full right, circle. that's what you are. Full circle. Knock that shit off. Nobody likes you, that. Graham. No, no. How, How dare, dare you? you? How dare you? That's five minutes of my life. I can't get back now, Randy. It's gone. Into the ether. I'm as, it's disgusting. That is refundable. a really good joke. It's the worst it's not. shit I've ever heard in my life. Randy, I've I, I've seen a lot of bad shit. I used to work in a convalescent home. Literally, I've seen bad shit. All right, and that was worse than it. I'd rather see bad shit. But at you know what, home. Rim? What? You know what I got out of that? That was taking a cold shower. All right, I'm eating shit about it. You know what I mean? But I put myself out there with that joke. I heard that from a good friend of mine. Rest in peace. I'm sorry you have to cover up your neck tattoo every day. Um, Ooh, Cody, what? No, the other Cody, no, Cody the wrestler. Cody, uh, our Cody, McCann. Uh, real hey. quick, because you know you touched on this uh, last week, and I'm so sorry that I ignored you because I was just you know in my own head, you know. But I, I don't hear these things, so when I edit the show, um, 
you seem to have a knowledge of professional wrestling. Like, what is your knowledge of pro- professional wrestling? Can we, like, can oh, Randy and I have a conversation almost. and include you in it? No, don't do that. Please, please don't do that. No, I but, mean on the show. Not, yeah, no. Don't bother I, text messages anymore. <laughs> then how, yeah, I noticed. I like it, actually. I know. But, <laughs> no, I, I, yeah, I have some. It's just, like... You know, my, 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 like, you have the group of friends that's really into it. And then, you know, you indirectly get in, in into it, but, you know. Yeah. Okay. Not, not so much where you, you know, you know yeah. It's, it, I'm just saying it's, it, it's acquired. It, it, it's an acquired thing I have. I got so, you. Like, okay. I might, I, you know, yeah. I might, might ask how, how so and so doing. And you can be like, oh, that guy's been out of the game uh, for the last four years. So you have like a like, peripheral oh, knowledge, okay. like from, like me from 2006 yeah, to yeah, uh, 2016. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had a peripheral knowledge of wrestling. I wasn't watching. Okay. Keep yeah, that in mind, so, Randy. And it's there. It's there. I, I, there. There's shit I appreciate. I get the lingo. Okay. So yeah, not funny. Let's say let's, oh. let's say I'm a half mark. Let's say that half there mark. You go. Okay, I like it. I like it. Half mark. Right. Half marky. All right. Could be anything else? Eddie Kingston said he could have been a baby face tonight. I don't know. And Eddie Kingston said, "What's a baby face?" It was pretty funny. It was pretty funny. I Fuck Eddie face. Kingston. Okay, I'm sick of that bullshit. Like I saw Eddie Kingston wrestle once in New York at an Evolve show, and he sucked. It was terrible. And I don't like the guy's gimmick. He's like, "Oh, I'm from the streets, and everybody, I work hard, and I never got a good break until now. So that's why people like me." No, fuck you. you. You suck. That's why you haven't gotten a break. You suck. You're not even that good on the mic. Nobody cares. Like the you gimmick sound just is just like Chris Jericho. It's the same gimmick every wow. every opponent. It's the same Did you goddamn watch, shit. Or were you there in Connecticut? Though? No, I could book that guy because he sucks. It's the same fucking thing every goddamn week. Oh, I'm from the streets. Life is hard. You gotta respect me. And then he goes out and he loses. It's like a bitch. It's like he loses. He'll beat Jericho because Jericho's putting guys over now. But but he Eddie, but he has mental illness too. Like that's you know okay he, really he's real like that. Like, like, we got to bring that into wrestling too now. Like, can we just fucking enjoy wrestling without having to deal with like real social issues and shit? Like, I now, just want to watch. Why I say I'm a half fan because it gets to this yeah. point in the conversation, and I'm just like fucking kill me. You I just want to I mean? watch I'm my sure, guy like, rise not alone from the dead with our, with our and the other guy ship. beat up his boss. Full wedding and, singer. You know, the guy who's the like, chief oh, of his full tribe. Mankind was cool. Mankind. And, and the guy who thinks he's the literal Joker. You know, I love that stuff. I don't want to hear about anybody's mental illness. Like, much respect and love, and we got to pay more attention to those people, but not in wrestling. Come on, let me just enjoy dudes pretending to beat the shit out of each other. That's what I'm saying. That's my word. They're pretending. That they have scripted. that, too. <laughs> like, what? when Cody shows up in WWE, are you going to quit watching it because you hate him so much? No, I'm going to be like, fuck, I hate Cody Rhodes still. Like, I, I don't like him anymore. I still don't like him. I don't like him at all. I think I think he's terrible. All right. Uh, Cody, you got anything else for tonight's show before I tell Ray? No, say that we, no, okay, look at no, you. no so we're cute. done. We're done because look, he's going to tell another joke or you're going to keep on going. Do about you think, wrestling. do you think you can come out in May and hang out with us? You can stay in Randy's Airbnb. In May, uh, May now. When May, when in May? You can't it's just say the, May. The That's weekend, like a fucking 12th of the fucking year. The weekend of the 21st, that weekend. It's the weekend before Memorial mm. Day. I'm inviting uh, everybody to Randy's bo- Airbnb. You, you keep bothering me about that. We'll see. Okay, because I'm. I, see that's if Allegiant I challenge... flies from can, from Hawaii. To what are we Hawaii doing? I got you. You can't just. I challenge like Candy Cody to a wrestling things. match, so I need a referee. Obviously. Oh yeah, we got to book Jock's travel. Uh, yeah, yeah. Gotta talk to him about that. <laughs> you got to take care of that, Cody. You got to get Wait, some of your money from your mom's coca farm, so we can fly Bla- Brock uh, Jock. Oh fuck! They've got to end the show now. Cacao. Thank you. No, cacao. That's what I said. Coca. Thank you. Coca leaves, right? No, no, that's not. No, that's a different thing. Oh, is it? Cacao. <laughs> okay. All right. Randy, yeah. keep... Cacao. Randy. <laughs> Randy. Uh, cacao. <laughs> cacao. Randy, make a note. You should hear Kristen's mother try and say uh, mimosa. Hit, hit up Cody's mom like for a coca mimosa. Okay. Randy, say the words, man. Let's get the fuck out of here. Cow. It's enough of this bullshit. Cow. Let's bring Cow. this baby home. Hey, Cody, my cousin can hook us up yeah. with financing. Sweet. Cody, you want to do the outro? You want me to do it, bud? No, I'm, I'm spent. I Cody, don't know what this thank is. Thank you so much for, for doing the intro for 201 and doing it in a weird way and getting the name of the show wrong. You didn't do Excuse it three me. times, but hey, it's all right. I know, because... But, you, Brace the scrotum for the next time you ask me to do this. I have to tax you something. Are you, you understand this? Are you because, doing this poorly? Because on purpose, if I just so I don't ask? if I just do this for yeah, if I just do this for you, 
<laughs> and not have any fun, you're just going to be like, oh, I'll just ask Cody whenever I want to okay. like not you know, do my host. Here I am. I'm just trying so to like, include I'm you. I'm going to have my good. In our I'm going to have my goddamn fun. I'm trying to include I'm gonna you have in the my group fun circle. And, and circle take jerk. my spear of justice right, buddy. and just ram it in your sh- fucking Everyone ribs. Don't pull your penis out unless you really need to. Everybody thinks I'm the asshole. is a class two felony. No. You right, can't have you. all the fun, right? Thank you, everybody, for listening to this bullshit. We yeah. appreciate all 201 downloads that you have made. I appreciate it so much. If you like what we do, you want to, you want to support the show, tell a friend. Tell a friend about the Rich Dickman Show, because we do I'm fun I'm the lifeguard of fun. We talked about anal condoms tonight. That's a lot of fun, all right? And lifeguard of fun. My man over there, Cody McCann. I think uh, I, I talked more on this episode than any episode ever. I think so. Like, like way too much. Some right. long jokes, yeah. If you'd like to see more than that, check us out. Oh, yeah, leave a review. Leave a review on your pop player choice, but uh, check our Patreon out. Patreon.com slash Rich Dickman. Or you get the video of this bullshit every week and get the uh, Stony Curiosity. The boys are going to do either after this one or tomorrow night or this weekend. I don't know. We got to do it now, Randy. And we got to do uh, Cody and I, before the show, we're talking about Fuck porny yeah. curiosity. We got to hook that one up with Sarah, uh, my, my, my good friend Sarah Starr, uh, my personal friend. We need rules for that one, Rem. Okay, we're going to well, need rules for that one. All right. Well, th- you write down your notes. Get a workshop. And we'll compare it. All right. Get a workshop. Yeah. Patreon.com slash Rich Dickman. And if you come into the highest tier, you can come on the show whenever you like. Find us online, richdickman.com. For all of your Rich Dickman needs, click the merch tab. Get yourself some swag. Uh, get the Eat the Rich shirt is on Amazon. So, I mean, I hate everybody who's in charge of us. I would like to eat them. Like, I would, I would cook them really well, I think. I think you can make, like, some braised, some braised ribs and braised thighs. And, like, you can, you can do some skillet steaks. Right, you can find that that rump roast off some of them big fat asses. But anyways, uh, eat the rich. Mm. It's on Amazon. Check it out and uh, click the YouTube tab. Check out our videos and subscribe to the channel. All right, our behind the scenes videos are there. Uh, Cody McCann had masterfully produced those, and he's amazing. Uh, so check those I out. Uh, listen to our friends uh, Adam and uh, and his rotating cadre of guests. Uh, at who gives a shit and of course our friends our good friends at not for human consumption you know my best friend was Walter, my esquire on yet and my best friend uh yeah uh yeah Flo was on last week uh, i don't know who's on this week i haven't oh, uh, sweet. got to it yet. yeah I'll listen. um and matt and uh, matt matt and i were chatting about peacemaker and walter and i were and uh I want, and jay watches peacemaker too uh, okay. Okay. yeah okay. everybody watch sure. peacemaker rich segment show at gmail.com or at Rich Dickman Show on Twitter. Executive producer Randy is at Sir Zero with an E on Twitter, but he's not on there anymore. He doesn't receive, retweet the show. So send him an email at uh, Sir Zero with an E at gmail.com. Cody McCann is at C O D Y M C C A N N. He is sweet and handsome, and his tweets come out like at, like, at, like at midnight or at three in the morning. Or like when I wake up, I woke up this morning at five, Cody, and I was checking through my timeline while I was on the toilet, and I saw Cody tweeted something funny. And I thought that was cute because Cody is six hours. But you didn't understand it because you're so breaking old. news. Russia has yes. invaded Ukraine. Fuck. That happened a couple days ago. The <laughs> what? No, what like you... they've started the tanks across. Kristen just uh, broke the news to me. Oh, yeah, fucking... but it started okay. a few days ago. Uh, yeah, God, but like sucks. now they're being serious. All right. Well, hey, those of you who hey, this are... might be the last one, boys. Yeah. Hey, those of you who are rushing hey, to recruitment centers want. to join the army, uh, I salute okay. you. Thank you. All right. So thank you for your service. Those of you who are so eager to go to war, I can't wait uh, to support you uh, on the front lines. And I will send you all the uh, presents Rep- that I can. makes a good casserole. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Uh, and uh, so uh, producer Ryan at Ryan TRDS. My mother at Rem underscore mama. And uh, I am at Rem Dickman. And Randy. Can you if still they, get drafted, Rim? Uh, I no, I, mean, I can. Yeah, I can. I'm too old. I'm done. I did my time, and I'm uh, old. Yeah. So, uh, no, but, I, uh, no, no. There's a, there's well, plenty. I, I'm, I'm the last of my lineage. Randy, I'm the only one that can carry that on the name. That doesn't so matter. Take me. But don't. But you don't have to worry because there's plenty. Told me. There's plenty of people who are so eager to take up arms to defend the Ukraine. They're going to run out there and volunteer and make things great. So I can't wait. I support all of you. And I support you. Because I did that once. I did that when I was 18. I went out and I supported. I joined the, I did the oath. As I swear, I pledge and all that bullshit. I did that. I did that once. Randy. It's not our crane. It's Ukraine. <laughs> and it almost killed you. What are you, doctor? Uh, Randy, how do, they, how do they join us when we, when we do this stuff? Oh, fuck that okay. bitch. This is Russia. What Anyways, are you, uh, American? <laughs> I love that bit. The, uh, 
Bert Kreischer. Anywho, uh, you're going to want to come to bit.do slash TRDS1 to get all the contents the patrons wow. pay for for free. And call and leave us voicemails like other people did, kind of, uh, at 860-316-4776. You can also text us. Uh, the interns will get to that. 860-316-4776. Yeah. Leave a voicemail and tell Randy how much his jokes suck. Cody, any last words, bud? I was I was the guy that was trying to keep you from Randy's jokes. Yeah, it's my like, fault. No, I, I take I accept no, full responsibility. No problem, Randy. I, like, I did the I Ching too, Cody. You forget we I know. consulted the Oracle. That I was that the entire time. That was that was really good advice. I had five minutes to Proper kill. I didn't conduct. think it would take twenty. All no, right. yeah, that's what it does. Cody, oh, love I you, buddy. Randy, love you too. Sometimes we'll see you all next week. Good night. Wow. Bye. Boosh. Ba 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 boosh. Now, Cody, I just I wanted to send this to you, all show, but you look handsome, right? And I would swipe right on you. You want to swipe right on me? I'll swipe right on you. <laughs> oh, baby. Is that what that dude who like hacks hackers? That's the voice modulator he uses. Yeah, oh yeah, his name's like Kit he pretends something. to be an old lady. I got this from Stephen Dickman. Uh, that dude, uh, he he got some daddy's money and hooked hooked the shit up. I didn't even go through. I was I forgot about it for most of it. That can be super annoying. Check this out. Check this out. Right. Um. Well, hold on. Wait a second. 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 Oh. Oh. Wait. <laughs> Fucking. Uh. Wait. Speech fire ovation. Okay. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I protest war. I don't like war, and I don't think we should be going to war. All right? I also, I love freedom, and I love you. I love each and every one of you and your abilities to make your own choices in your life. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, take the masks off the kids. Finally on Monday. Thank you. See that? Is that shit? Oh, Is that Obama? Uh, maybe. <laughs>